mstari wa kwanza sura ya kumi, mstari wa kwanza baandiko inasema moreover brethren i would not that ye should be ignorant how that our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea and were all baptized unto moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was christ that rock was christ leo ninataka kunena juu ya breaking out and no delay breaking out and no delay turudi tena katika kumbukumbu la torati deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 6 na hapo tutasoma kidogo deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 6 msari wa sita maandiko inasema and the lord our god spake unto us in horeb saying ye have dwelt long enough in this mount turn ye and take your journey and go to the mount of amorites and up unto the places nigh nigh thereto in the plain in the hills and in the valley in the soul and by the seaside to the land of the canaanites and to the lebanon and to the great river the river euphrates Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spoke unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. And the Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, you are this day, as the stars of heaven for multitude. Mstari wa moja ni wa maana sana. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as he are and bless you as he hath promised you. Uh, he has promised you. Tusomewa kwa kiswahili mstari wa sita na mstari wa kumina moja. Tafadhali. Uh, kiswahili mstari wa sita na wa na moja. Yes. Bwana Mungu wetu alisema nasi uko horebu. Aha, ongeza sauti. Bwana Mungu wetu alisema nasi uko horebu. Mhm. Mm Mmekaa vya kutosha katika mlima huu. Mmekaa vya kutosha katika mlima huu. Mstari wa 11. Naye Bwana Mungu wa baba zenu. Naye Bwana Mungu wa baba zenu. Na waongeze mara elfu na kuwabariki kama alivyoahidi. Awaongeze mara elfu na kuwabariki kama alivyoahidi. Turudi tena tusome Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 1. Na nitasoma. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea as the Lord spake unto me. And we compassed Mount Seir many days. The Lord spake unto me, saying, He have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward, and command out the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the course of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir. They shall, they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourself, therefore. Meddle not. With the, middle not with them, for I am not, uh, uh, I will not give of the land, no, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for possession. Ye shall buy meat of them for money, and ye may, that ye may eat. Ye shall also buy water for, of them for money, that ye may drink. For the Lord your God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy end. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. This for the years the Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. And when we pass by from our brethren, the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir through the way of the plain from Heleth and from Ezeogeber, we turned and passed the way of the wilderness of Moab. Musari wakumi na sita. Maandiko inasema. So it came, it came to pass. When all the men of war were consumed and dead uh, from among the people.
the Lord spake unto me, saying, Thou art to pass over through her the course of Moab. Uh, tukisoma vizuri, maandiko inasema, Mungu akanena na Musa. Maana kila wakati Mungu unena na mtu mmoja. Inawezekana anena na watu wengi, lakini kila mtu anaelewa Mungu unena na mtu mmoja. Na sasa Mungu ameshanena ya kwamba ni wakati wa kutoka mahali tumekaa kwa muda mrefu na kuondoka. Na ninanena kwa wote wanaosikia Kiswahili hata iwe ni Uganda, iwe ni Burundi, iwe ni Rwanda, iwe ni nchi nyingine inayosikia Kiswahili, iwe ni Kongo ya kwamba tumekaa muda mrefu. Uh, wengi wetu tumekaa kwa kafiu. Wengi wetu tumekaa kwa lockdown. Sasa Mungu ananena imetosha mahali hapa ambapo tumekaa muda mrefu, imefika wakati wa kutokea ama wa kutokelezea imefika wakati wa kuvunja kila itikadi kila ngome kila ukuta kila vizuizi ambavyo vimewekwa na zaidi kwa anjili ya kanisa nina imani kikamilifu ya kwamba sasa kanisa itarudi tena bila masharti kanisa itaanza kuabudu tena sitaki kuelewa ni leo ama ni kesho ama ni siku gani kanisa itaanza kurejelea tena katika video ambazo zilipita niliwaambia kama mwezi wa ine ya kwamba coronavirus itakuja kuwa kama ukimwi ugonjwa ulio katikati ya watu na ambao auendi kamwe ambao watu wanaishi na wako nao lakini Mungu ni mponyaji katika kila nyakati nisikilize mpendwa tunaelekea wakati muhimu ambapo Mungu anaitana anasema ya kwamba wakati ambao mmekaa kwa mlima huu ya tosha sasa mkae tayari ili muanze safari yenu mkielekea mbele leo nimesema nitanena kwa uchache maana Mungu amenipa neno kikamilifu ni sababu gani zilizo sababisha Bwana wa Israeli waambiwe watoke nisikilize kwa makini Mungu alikuwa amenena na wao akawaambia ya kwamba wasidhubutu kwenda mbele wakae mahali walipo na wakaendelea kuzunguka jangwani walizunguka jangwa moja jangwa inafanana kila mahali awezi ukajua hapa ndipo mlipokuwa nilikuwa Israeli mwaka wa 2018 na nikaona uwezi kutofautisha jangwa zinafanana zote milima inafanana yote pengine ukae huko ndio uelewe tofauti wakazunguka bila kujua mali pamoja sasa hizi ndizo sababu nataka nikupe sababu kama 15 ambazo Mungu alisababisha akanena jambo la kwanza ni ya kwa sababu walikaa mali pale muda mrefu <laughs> walikaa mali pale muda wa kutosha walikaa pale muda mrefu hivyo ndivyo maandiko inasema walikaa pale miaka 38 hatuna wakati mwingi lakini tungesoma katika hapo kumbukumbu la Torati hatusomi saa hii inasema na miaka ile waliokaa mahali pale ni miaka 38 kama ingekuwa ni Kenya ni kutoka mwaka wa na mbili tumekaa kiwango kimoja kutoka 1982 mpaka leo hiyo ilikuwa jambo la kwanza iliyosababisha wana wa Israeli wasonge mbele Mungu apendi ukikaa kiwango kimoja kwa mfano inawezekana kiwango chako cha huduma kimekaa muda mrefu na ikabidi Mungu atupe break na ikabidi Mungu atupe kukaa sasa neno imetokea ya kwamba umekaa kiwango hicho Munda wa kutosha ni wakati wa kutokelezea ni wakati wa kwenda juu ni wakati wa kuinuka ni wakati wa upenyo ni wakati wa breakthrough sikiliza mpendwa umekaa hicho kiwango vya kutosha kuna watu hawajaolewa na wamengojea Mungu miaka mingi saa hii Mungu anasema ile miaka umekaa ukiwa au ndoa ukiwa au jamii yatosha 
Kuna watu wamekaa bila watoto. Miaka ya kukaa ukiwa mtoto imetosha. Kuna watu walio wajane ambao ni wahumri mdogo. Miaka ya kukaa ukiwa mjane imetosha utaolewa. Miaka ya kukaa ukiwa mila mke imetosha utaoa. Miaka ya kukaa bila kazi imetosha. Miaka ya kukaa bila hela imetosha. Miaka ya kukaa kiwango kimoja imetosha. Jambo la pili ni ya kwamba Mungu akawaamuru. Kabla Mungu amenena usichukue hatua. Kabla Mungu ameongea usidhumbutu kwenda mbele. Kama Mungu ame, kama Mungu anjapeana maangizo kaa mahali ulipo. Kwa hivyo jambo la pili God and command. Number three, the time to stay in Kadesh Barna was expired. The time to stay in Sai was expired. Wakati wa kukaa sehiri ulikuwa umekwisha. Wakati wa kukaa sehiri ulikuwa umetosha. The time to stay in that one place was expired. Wakati wetu wa kukaa kwa kafu ume expire. Hii wiki itakuwa wiki ya anxiety. Hii wiki itakuwa wiki ya mchanganyiko wa hisia. Maana kila mtu anataka kutoka kwa lockdown, kila mtu anataka kutoka kwa kafu, <laughs> injapokuwa kuna uwezekano, wengine watakaa kidogo. Jambo la ine, wingu la utukufu lilikuwa lishainuka likielekea upande wa Kanaani. Na hapo ningependa kusoma katika Exodus na tutasoma kwa lugha ya kizungu, Kiingereza na lugha ya Kiswahili kutoka 40 msari wa 36 na 37 tuanze kwa Kiswahili Exodus 40 verse 36 and verse 37 tusome tafadhali tusome 36 katika safari yote ya Waisraeli kila wakati wingu lilipoinuka kutoka juu ya maskani ya Mungu wangeondoka mhm lakini kama wengi walikuinuka wa kuondoka mpaka siku lilipoinuka. Mhm. Kwa hiyo wengu la Bwana lilikuwa juu ya maskani. Mchana na moto ulikuwa katika hilo wengu wakati wa usiku. Machoni pa nyumba yote Israeli siku zote za safari zao. Rudia tena. Katika safari yote ya Waisraeli, kila wakati wengu lilipoinuka kutoka juu ya maskani ya Mungu, wangeondoka lakini kama wengu walikuinuka hawakuondoka mpaka siku lilipoinuka maandiko yanasema hivi but when the cloud was taken from over the tabernacle the children of Israel went onward or in all their journeys but the cloud if the cloud were not taken up then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up for the cloud of the lord was upon the tabernacle by day and fire was on it by night in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout their journeys hapa wingu lilikaa juu ya ema ya kukusanyika miaka 38 asubuhi hiyo Musa akaamka akaona wingu limenyanyuka limeanza safari likielekea kwa ahadi yao sasa hapa ninasema katika ulimwengu wa rohoni Nimeona wingu limeinuka. Limeanza kutembea ikielekea katika ahadi yetu. Tumekuwa na tumaini, tumekuwa na tengemeo. Na hiyo wingu litatembea. Kumbuka tumesoma Wakorintho wa kwanza kumi. ya kwamba lile wingu, ule moto, lile jiwe ama ule mwamba ulikuwa ni Kristo. Aliwaongoza yeye mwenyewe na ndiye anayetuongoza hata leo amini na uniamini wingu limeanza safari ikielekea mahali pake jambo la tano wanaume na watu wa vita 
walikuwa wameisha walikuwa wamenyamaza Mungu apendi tusonge mbele wakati kuna vita naomba Mungu anyamazishe wote waliona vita kinyume cha huduma yako kinyume cha maisha yako kinyume cha jamii yako kinyume cha kazi yako kinyume cha biashara yako wote walio kinyume Mungu awanyamazishe maana safari imeanza the men of war wa nomo jambo la sita the unbelieving wa wasted out wale ambao wakuamini walikuwa wameishiwa na nguvu ama walikuwa wametoweka number seven, ngombe na nyuki za kanaani zilikuwa zimetoshia idadi ya kuwalisha waisraeli mungu aliwakalisha kwa jangwa nyuki waongezeke na ngombe waongezeke maana ahadi ilikuwa ya kwamba na wapeleka kwa inchi yenye maziwa na yenye asali na nyuki walikuwa wachache ngombe walikuwa wachache number eight, their enemies had enough fear walikaa jangwani mpaka story ya vile Mungu wao anatenda ikafikia mtu wa mwisho ambaye ni adui wao kwa hivyo ilikuwa lazima Mungu aweke hofu na uoga kwa maadui Naomba Mungu aweke ofu na uoga kwa maandui zako wote ili wajue uko na Mungu. Jambo la tisa God and proved them. Mungu alikuwa amewajaribu na akawajua ni watu wa aina gani. Mungu ametujaribu wa ubiri wakati wa corona. Ametujaribu akaona wale aliohita na wale hakuita. Wale hawakuitwa na Mungu tayari walirudi kwa biashara wanatembeza vitu wanauza vitu hata wengine wanatabiria wengine wakiwadanganya sikiliza sio vizuri god and proved to them number 10 cycles were enough mizunguko ilikuwa imetosha miviringo ilikuwa imetosha mpendwa umekaa kwa kuzunguka ya kutosha maana ni dhahiri mambo mengi yaliyotendeka kwa watu wenu yamekupata sasa mambo mengi yaliyotendeka kwa hiyo kijiji chenu yamekupata maeneo yako umekuwa kama mmoja wao miviringo imeisha we are breaking forth from every cycle number 11 the gardens were ready for fruit mashamba ya kanaani yalikuwa yameanza kuzaa mungu alingojea maadui wakapanda miti ikafikia kukomaa na ikaanza kuzaa number 12 there was a ready fresh generation kulikuwa na kizazi kipya kimewekwa tayari wale watu walikuwa wananungunika wote walikuwa wameisha wale watu walikuwa wachanga wa miaka 20 kwa na juu bwana alikuwa anatayarisha ili waende wakamiliki ahadi ya Abraham jambo la 13 akili na nia ya Misri ilikuwa imeisha katikati yao wakati walikufa jangwani wale walikuwa wanajua Misri na utamu wa Misri hiyo iliisha ndani yao walikuwa tayari hawana nia ya kimisiri jambo la 14 Mungu alimalizana na wanyama God and to deal with animals in Canaan ili wasiende kuuawa Mungu alikuwa anawamaliza na jambo la mwisho kumi na tano ni ya kwamba Mungu akatengeneza uongozi. Ukisoma sura ya kwanza maandiko inasema ya kwamba Musa akawaambia siwezi kuwabeba peke yangu na akachangua viongozi watu ambao wangeweza kazi kukawa na uongozi. Sasa niruhusu ni mbili na kakama tano na nimalizie na Mungu akubariki. Hapa nataka kunena nawe na nikuletee maneno ya msahada kwa maisha yako naomba tusomewe kumukumu la Torati sura ya kwanza pale msari wa tisa na mpaka wa 12 tafadhali Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 9 through 12 yes wakati ule niliwaambia ninyi mmekuwa mzigo mzito sana kwangu kuwachukua peke yangu ongeza sauti wakati ule niliwaambia 
Ninyi mmekuwa mzigo mzito sana kwangu kuwachukua peke yangu. Bwana Mungu wenu ameongeza hesabu yenu kwamba leo nyinyi ni wengi kama nyota za angani. Naye Bwana Mungu wa baba zenu na waongezee mara elfu na kuwabariki kama alivyoahidi. Ndio. Lakini mimi nitawezaje kubeba matatizo yenu na mizigo yenu na magomvi yenu peke yangu? Chagueni baadhi ya watu wenye hekima, wenye ufahamu na wanaoheshimika katika kila kabila lenu, nami nitawaweka juu yenu. Asante. Mungu katika taifa letu la Kenya alikuwa ameenda kama kanisa tumeenda kanu. Tumekaa tukiwa na mchanganyiko wa uongozi. Tumekaa tukiwa hatuna nia moja na sasa Mungu ameleta kanisa pamoja aanze kuinua kama sauti moja katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na kwa sababu hiyo Mungu akatayarisha kizazi wapendwa kutoka hapa revival itaanza ambayo sio ya kawaida ambayo itaenda miaka kama saba revival can kuliko wakati mwingine itakuwa climax itakuwa climax uh, uh, inaendelea juu kwa miaka kama saba kutoka mwaka huu watu wengi wametupa uh, wame, wame, wamevunjika moyo wanaona ni kama mwaka huu si mzuri hakuna mwaka mwingine mzuri kuliko huu kwa sababu Mungu atatuinua nataka kurejelea maneno ayo ya Deuteronomy chapter 1 mstari wa moja ya kwamba Bwana Mungu wangu Bwana Mungu wetu awaongeze mara helpu. Hey, Mungu akupanue Mungu akupanulie mipaka yako tunapotoka katika lockdown na curfew Mungu akupanue eh hey, tutatoka wale mnafikiria tutaongezewa atuongezee wingo tunatoka na unapotoka God shall multiply you. Utapanuka kwa speed ambayo haujawahi kuwa nayo tena. Utaongezeka upande wa kushoto na upande wa kume. Maandiko yanasema Isaya 54. Tayarisheni mahali pen ya kwamba paongezeke. Lakini ningependa tusome Isaya 60 mstari wa 22. Isaya 60, Isaya 60 mstari wa ishirini na mbili kwa haraka Aliye mdogo kwenu atakuwa elfu Yes Mdogo sana atakuwa taifa lenye nguvu Yes Mimi ndimi Bwana Mhm mm katika wakati wake nitayatimiza haya upesi Mhm mm Rudia tena Aliye mdogo kwenu atakuwa elfu Mhm mm Mdogo sana atakuwa taifa lenye nguvu Mhm mm Mimi ndimi Bwana Mhm mm katika wakati wake nitayatimiza haya upesi Asante Mungu mwenyewe hangeruhusu wana wa Israeli waende mahali hakuna provision. Waende mahali hakuna chakula. Waende mahali pasipo na Mungu. Waende mahali hawajui. Waende mahali hapojatayarishwa. Waende mahali pa vita mpendwa Mungu aanze kukupanua. Mungu apanue mipaka yako. Mungu akuongeze. Mungu aimarishe maisha yako. Ambadilishe maisha yako akufanye vile ameahidi kutoka leo na kuambia nehema ya kuinuka mara moja ainjalishi ulianza lini umelangana muda gani leo na kunenea kuamka mara moja na kuanza kazi bora ya maisha yako tunapoendelea kupata revival revival ingia kila mahali Mungu akuponye moyo wako Mungu akuponye magonjwa yako narudia tena nimeona wingu la kanisa limeanza kuinuka likielekea mahali safi likielekea mahali pa kuongezeka likielekea mahali pa baraka nimeona wingu likiondoka nimeona wingu likielekea katika jina la Yesu na hiyo miviringo umekuwa ume, ume, ume ndani yake misururu hautarudi tena kilichomaliza watu wenu akita kukaribia Kilichoharibu watu waliokuwa mbele yako akita kukaribia. Mungu wa amani akubariki. Na ujue vizuri we are breaking out and no delay. Atutacheleweshwa tena. Ila hali wiki hii ni wiki ya mchanganyiko. Maana watu watatokea na anxiety and depression. Na vituko vitatendeka wiki hii inayoanza tarehe moja Mwezi wa sita 
mpaka tarehe kumi na ine, mwezi wa sita itakuwa wiki ya mchanganyiko utasikia vituko utasikia mambo ujawahi asikiliza mimi naomba wewe unayependa kanisa Mungu atufungulie turudi kanisani hata kama ni lini wewe unayependa Mungu Mungu akufungulie njia kwa leo nilikuwa na hayo siku na mambo mengi Mungu akubariki Mungu wa mbingu ninakushukuru kwa neno lako Tumenena na watumishi wako wabariki inua viwango vyao tena mema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo walio wagonjwa waponye Bwana badilisha nia zetu tuwe na nia yako tukuelewe i declare the camp is broken we are breaking for we are coming out and no delay i bless every preacher as we are restored back to our ministries in the mighty name of jesus rise and lift the level of the church nani kwa jina la yesu kristo tumeomba na tumeamini amen mungu aneni mara nyingi kama aujatimiza jambo la kwanza kwa hivyo maona bitu uliyonena mbeleni yatatimia ndio mungu anene tena god bless you amen amen